Hi, and welcome to a new episode. And today we are talking about a topic that fits both EDC and hiking. And I'm going to talk about my favorite lighter, the Seacar Stratosphere, and why the big sucks. When we are talking about a lighter for EDC and hiking, there are three main things to look for. Reliability, weight and size. So it can easily fit inside your pocket and not being too bulky. Both the Bic and the Seeker Stratosphere tick all that boxes and the Seeker is actually not much bigger than the Bic. Like we all know, the Bic lighter is a very good and reliable lighter that works like all the time unless it's windy or if it's wet and of course when you run out of gas. You can of course find a workaround for the wind and the wet but you cannot refill them. At least you're not meant to. So even if I love the big lighters and I use them a lot in some scenarios like I mentioned they do to make a long story short, I do use the big lighters and I do love them, but I kept them only for hiking. I use it together with my gas stove and instead of an igniter, because those things tend to break sooner than later. And I store it protected inside my pot, so for that it works great. But when using my Espit stove, things get complicated and because it takes some time to ignite the fuel, I also consume a lot of gas and because the Minibic is so small, I also risk burning myself. Because it gets so damn hot. So as an EDC lighter and for situations when I need a little bit more power or just to get the campfire going or when it's windy, I use the Seeker Stratosphere. Last year I did a video called Big Failed Me. And during that video, I tested out how three different lighters worked in windy conditions. What's happened if you drop them in water. And how reliable they were to ignite every time. And the clear winner was the Seeker Stratosphere. No other lighter in that test, including the Bic and the Mini Bic, stood a chance. And now, over one year later, I still stick to my conclusion that the Seeker Stratosphere is the king of lighters. And it has yet to fail me. Now, the Stratosphere is a single jet lighter that weighs only 52 grams, including the lanyard. And it's not much bigger than a standard Bic. It is also somewhat flat, so it sits perfect in the pockets of your pants. The only downside I would say is the lid. It's a bit too easy to open and you can easily accidentally open it when putting it down in your pocket, leaving it less protected. Other noticeable features are the see-through fuel window. Very good to see how much gas you have left. And that it is certified for altitudes up to 10,000 feet. Not that I've been up there trying, but good to know. I paid about 300 Swedish crowns for my lighter. To make my Seeker even better, I changed the included lanyard to a 550 fire cord. For you who don't know what that is, it's a 550 paracord with a fire starter inside, meaning you will always have some tinder to start a fire with. I will in the near future do a small test and review on this 550 fire cord, so stay tuned on this channel and hit the notification bell so you don't miss that one out. All in all, I do believe that the Seeker Stratosphere is a perfect and solid choice for a lighter and a perfect one for both your EDC and your hikes. So I truly do recommend you trying it out in your EDC setup or just to bring on your future hikes and as a complement to your everyday bike. And that's it for today and thanks so much for watching. And if you have any questions to me regarding lighters or anything else, just leave a comment down below and I'll come back to you as soon as I can. Also, don't forget to subscribe to support this channel. Hit the notification bell so you don't miss out on any future videos. And thumbs up if you like this video. And I will see you 
next week, right? Mm -hmm. Bye bye.